Hello YouTube and fellow hams and new hams, or those of you thinking about becoming hams. Uh, I had somebody in my uh, uh, Vectronics kit video ask about zero beating. What is zero beating? Why don't you explain it? And I kind of summed it up for him in a comment, but then I thought this would be a good subject for a video for uh, those of you that are new to electronics, new to ham radio. Uh, you hear the phrase zero beating often. Um, going to zero beat uh, your radio with WWV or zero beat it with your crystal calibrator and what does that exactly mean? And uh, well, I think what we need to start with is what the, uh, the concept is of two signals beating with each other. So imagine a signal, a sine wave, right? If you have two of them and they are just a little bit out of frequency one and they're mixed together, um, they will add to each other and then subtract to each other as the one signal moves past the other. Now to illustrate what I mean, uh, I set up a simple little experiment here with the oscilloscope and an audio amp and I'll show you what it means when two signals beat with each other. So let me reposition the camera and we'll take a look. So what we are seeing here, I have two signals uh, from my two different function generators. They're both about one kilohertz. This one is fixed and this one is slightly off one kilohertz. It's a little bit above one kilohertz. And we're, we're triggering on this top one. So what you're seeing is that since this frequency is a little bit higher, it looks like it's walking past the other one. And that's just because the scope is tracing based on the timing for this signal. So that one is a little bit higher in frequency. So it looks like it's moving. Um, but what you're seeing there is the two free signals are not perfectly in sync with each other. One's a little bit higher or a little bit lower than the other. And as a result, if you freeze time on one of the signals, you see the other one moving past it. Now, if these signals were mixed together, um, as they move out of phase like that, as a peak passes a valley, they would cancel each other out. And likewise, as a peak up here passes a valley, they would cancel each other out because when they're mixed together, they, they are added together. So if this is a, a plus two and a half volts, and this is a plus two and a half volts, when you put them together, you get five volts. And if this is a negative two and a half volts, and that's a negative two and a half volts, when you put them together, you get negative two and a half volts. But when you take this peak and you line it up with that valley, they cancel each other out because it's plus two and a half and minus two and a half. So, what, what, so what's happening, if you look at one point in time, just, just freeze your eyes on one point or one of those peaks, you'll see where these two signals will be going louder and softer and louder and softer. And you can actually hear that. So let me turn on the audio amplifier. And what we've got is one of the signals. Okay, now if I mix in the other signal, make sure I'm not getting the shot. You can hear it happening. Trying to get this to stay. There we go. So you hear how that's getting louder and softer, and you can see it on the scope now that they're mixed. Um, joining them together shifted the frequency, so that other one is actually moving a little bit faster now. But you can hear it going up and down and up and down as the signals beat with each other. That's what what they mean when they say signals are beating with each other. So that's the concept of two signals beating with each other. Um, getting a little bit off frequency and you hear that, that modulation, that undulating sound. Now zero beat is when the two signals are perfectly in phase with each other, perfectly in sync, and you, you don't hear that, that change in volume anymore. And uh, that's what zero beat actually means. Now how does that apply to radio? I'm going to hook up a radio and the signal generator and we'll talk about that and then we'll talk about what zero beating actually is. Well, what do you know, it works. <laughs> I figured this would be a good chance to hook up this old HW7 and see if I can get a signal through it. And as you can hear, I've got static, it actually works. Okay, so what I've got going on, I'm on the uh, 40 meter band and I'm generating an RF signal with my uh, signal generator that's being injected into the radio. 
Now the radio has a beat frequency oscillator that is about six or 800 hertz off from the local oscillator. Uh, so when those two are mixed together and there's a carrier present at the local oscillator frequency, you will get that difference, that's that uh, six or 800 hertz tone when, uh, when it's on frequency. Now zero beating would be bringing your your receiver in line with that transmitted signal to the point where they, the the beat frequency oscillator is canceled out, where you are on the same frequency as the transmitted uh, frequency. So zero beating a radio is simply bringing it in to match up with a source frequency, a standard like WWV or a signal from a signal generator. So if I had my signal generator and frequency counter going and I wanted to precisely generate 7 megahertz, I could do that. And then if I wanted to set the radio's dial to where 7 megahertz matched up, what I would do is I would zero beat and then adjust the VFO on the radio to where I'm zero beating on 7 megahertz. And what does that sound like? Well, I'm a little off frequency. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so that's the signal that I'm approaching. Okay, you hear that kind of a sort of sound? When I get really, really close to it, it sounds like what we heard when those two, those other two audio signals were mixing together, kind of a, an undulation. And that's exactly what's happening. We are almost on frequency, and the, uh, the, fr the signals are beating with each other, creating that, that sort of sound because we're so close. And the further we get off, the faster that they beat with each other and we get a tone. So as I get further off frequency, that beating is happening so fast that it's producing an audio tone. Zero beat simply means getting to the point where you are dead on frequency and that, that beating of those two signals stops. Right there. They're not undulating. Here how I can make it start, slow down to nothing. That is zero beating. So, oh. and it's hard to get there. At least on this receiver. Okay, right there, there. Okay, you probably can't hear it on the camera. I can hear it, it's just going really slow. They're so close together that those signals are, are, are passing each other in time really slowly and it's just barely moving up and down in volume that's uh, we're, we're pretty close to zero beat but that's what zero beat is so there you go that's what zero beating is getting your uh, radio dead on top of a reference signal to the point where that tone drops down to where that undulation stops and your frequency on your radio is precisely in sync with your source tone a common way of calibrating um, older radios would be to use uh, the time station, WWV. Since WWV is at the National Institute of Standards, their 10 megahertz station is precisely on 10 megahertz. I mean, to parts per million. It's, it's dead accurate. They use an atomic clock for their time, and they use um, their, um, radioactive frequency sources. What's it called? Iridium? I think an iridium uh, uh, standard. No, not iridium. Um, I can't think of it. I'll have to look it up. But uh, anyway, their signals at 5 megahertz, uh, 2.5, 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 15 megahertz, and 20 megahertz are dead on precise. So if you put a radio in sideband mode and you tune to WWV at 10 megahertz, you'll hear that tone, that, that, that beat frequency oscillator beating with it, and that tone come in and come down. And you can go right down to that zero point where that modulation stops and that is zero beating and then you're precisely on 10 megahertz. And you can use that to adjust the dial of your radio to where 10 megahertz on the dial is actually 10 megahertz. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Any further questions or uh, comments, leave them below. I read all the comments. 73.